Hello and welcome everybody to so a very special something different, uh, aka uh, I just talked about the Blood Angels box that was announced last week, so I figured this would be a good time to follow up since G-Dubs decided to bless us with two whole new models. A, uh, tell me if you've heard this story, they're releasing an uh, update to an army and they give you a uh, captain and a apothecary or something similar to that. Wow, they're really going all in on this update. Now, I won't be completely sarcastic in the whole thing, so I'm going to actually talk about the good and the bad, and then a few things I've noticed about it, and then I'll talk about something I'm working on as a project towards the end if you're interested in such things. But there's a really bad um, way of doing things that GW's been doing, and effectively it's they bring up an Air, air quote update and all it usually is is a couple iconic characters or even just usually one and then some kind of themed uh, miniatures honestly it's not that much it's one of the lower what lower effort ways to do it and I think that's really where I'm just gonna say if I was gonna give them uh, a grade on this I would probably give them a D it's passing but it's so low effort effectively that it just really doesn't count so let's go ahead and talk about the models all right well first off we have the apothecary or the sanguinary uh, priest if you prefer but we'll we'll keep it basic the apothecary for the blood angels and on the good end of things I can say this I like the pose they actually went with they usually don't go with this slight advancing at ready kind of pose very often so it's nice to see he's not standing on a tactical rock um, the only thing on a tactical rock is the servo skull of a drill I kind of wish they would have just nixed that and put the drill on the um, the, uh, the equipment on his arm but Hey, we can't have everything, and I'm sure people can figure out a way to modify that. So, outside of that, I like that the sensor array and the light can be, uh, from the images, I'm taking a wild guess, at the very least moved around uh, within some degree of li uh, limits. It looks like the light has to be at a certain angle, and so does the sensor, but that kind of makes sense with the pose uh, at hand so we'll give them that other than that um, yeah it's it's fairly standard I don't particularly like the idea that they're packing the blood vials on their chest and I'm not real happy about the the gene seed storage on them but hey I'll give it this it's not a terribly designed model in the regards of posing is good I like that they uh, have some ability to customize and um, uh, they did an acceptable an acceptable job on the uh, the miniature um, though I will say I like the second unhelmeted head and um, for knockoff mark 5 the helmeted heads not bad um, Still not my favorite, still not real fond of it. Outside of that, whatever the hell they're thinking when they're painting these faces, they need to stop because they're awful. They don't look very good. I'm assuming that how bad these faces look has a lot more to do with the paint job. So I'll see what people's efforts are after it gets released to people who aren't painting in this style. And we'll see how that goes. But let's jump into some of the issues I have with this first off I hate the little guard around the gorget around the neck I think that that should just be sliced and brought closer to what uh, mark 7 armor has it looks weird when you have the heads in there and I just do not like a bullet catch one round gets in there, shatters, and it's just going to bounce around and go right into the neck. It's not a very good idea. Two, get rid of the stupid freaking ridge where the knee pads are. 
it adds nothing to these models it just is another pointless waste of plastic and it does not help with the units balancing um quite honestly if they stylized more of the primaris armor to look like various different marks to kind of show that it's a rigging of armor as opposed to a full set of armor considering they kind of change how some of it is laid out like with this apothecary on the whim i just think that would be better from a design perspective um outside that the one guy's head reminds me of a character a lot that i rem from my childhood but i'll talk about that a little bit later so let's go over to the captain <sighs> i was thinking about posting the uh, tortuga bay effort but i felt that was unfair because that one actually looks good and doesn't look ridiculous and i also have a bias because i really liked captain Tycho. so it's a little bit more fair for me just to talk about the captain model by itself now i appreciate they tried to bring back the six pack the ab armor um what i don't appreciate is unlike what you saw in the older efforts it's all just kind of carved into the armor which seems ridiculous especially you can see that on the uh the left leg there i think that should be a raised bit as opposed to a indention in the armor i think it would look better if it was right that part was raised out and there was an incline towards it um other than that i think one of the other issues i have is it's an okay suit um one of the other elements I really like about what they did was they did the cutout similar to the Mark 7. So it's not this stupid freaking ridge that goes along the front of the face. So I'll give them that. I like that they did add in that kind of Blood Angels like ab armor. I like that the Inferno pistol was pretty nice looking and they kept the general styling of it and the uh, chain sword's pretty good. On the negative side, I don't like the head. I don't even like the golden boy mask that they got. Uh, they don't do much for me. The iron halo is nice, but I can only see that thing sh just shearing off at some point. Um, on the other end of it, the other thing I think I've noticed that really bothers me about the uh, Primaris, and I can't unsee it now that I've noticed it, is I've complained about the upper thighs a lot, but my lord, their waists are so tiny. I don't know how they're able to support their upper bodies. I think that is a uh, another negative area in the design, or at least in the design of this individual captain model. It bothers me. I think they should have bulked that out a bit more, because, yeah, he, he's looking a little like Popeye there. But on the good end, I like that they're trying to bring in some of the Blood Angels elements. On the, on the bad end, eh. It, it feels like a B team trying to, you know, mime off the A team. So, and I do think one of the bigger improvements here is the cutout on the front. So the, the dumb gorget is kind of trimmed back. If they got rid of the ridge on the knees, I think that would help too. Um, it makes the legs look unbalanced and ungainly in my opinion, uh, especially because it, it makes the thighs seem smaller because there's not a natural transition from the lower leg to the upper leg. And then that just, when you start noticing things like that, then you're like, why does he have such tiny hips? And also, the unhelmeted head in this one looks like his head is massive compared to the apothecary. So, eh. Eh. And then, uh, well, let's talk about... I, I think we can all say we're all happy that uh, Mick Boom Boom still lives. The Emperor's probably going to stomp off, you know, and look for the, the lost child like uh, he did with Vulcan. It's fantastic to see that he's got a, a new start from being a mobster in a, a city in the far future to uh, saving lives and keeping that gene seed going. And also being blonde. You know, that helps with the ladies. 
Now, uh, I'm going to be honest about the whole situation here. This did not impress me. This is the, we should have introduced this four years ago step. Um, if people are impressed with this, I'm happy for them, but I'm not. This is what low effort is. They basically knew they could just sit around forever and not actually produce something. And then when they do produce something, it's a rehash of one iconic character, a eh on the other end, and then an apothecary and a captain, a multi-part captain that, I don't know. It's just, it's not doing it. I mean... This company makes huge profits, and you're telling me that they can roll this out with a, let's say, an intercessor squad that's specialized for the Blood Angels with all kinds of little customization and unique things about them? That can't happen. We can't have an actual unique kit that can be uh, ground or jump capable. Um, you know, the deaf company, we, we can't have... Uh, I want like pre a special priest. Where 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 are all the things that should be really pumping this out and giving you the whole nine? It is lazy, low effort BS from a company that pretends like it's a lot poorer than it actually is. And I'm not gonna brook anybody coming in here and trying to make an argument, but leave the poor multi-million dollar company alone. Screw off. You know where you can go to find it. That you can get the exact kissing their ass coverage you want. I'm not going to do that. This is an insult. And though I dislike Primaris, it's an insult to the fans that do. These people should at least be getting something worth their dollar. Instead of waiting for GW to throw some scraps on the table years after they should have put them out. I mean, considering how long it took them to put a... Uh, a lieutenant or a captain that had multiple options out this is just one of those things where i'm not that impressed it doesn't look that good and the positives don't outweigh the negatives and really are we just going to forever excuse this company when it just pumps out the same kind of release over and over and over they need to drip feed everything this has been a problem for a long long time People should have a near complete option or a number of options when they're making their armies. Not have to wait years for GW to deign to give them one damn thing or another. And it pisses me off that there will be people who will defend this. Yes, you can like this and still criticize them for basically not trying. Yes, you can still want to get these things and still say, you know, I just don't think they're really putting out the effort to, you know, make people happy. To make sales. They just expect sales. They don't care. And I just do not find this release to be worth anything but wiping one's ass with. And I'm not going to give it anything else beyond that. I wasn't even going to talk about it, and I mostly talked about it because I wanted to make a joke about how the uh, apothecary's head looked like a guy from a cartoon from when I was a kid. And I wouldn't even get that much in there. So, I'm going to say we're watching them do the same kind of release over and over and over. And much like Capcom with remastering, redoing, and reimagining freaking Resident Evil... They're going to hit a point at which this does not work anymore. So do keep in mind that you should at least be critical when you see a company not trying to actually get your money. So have a fantastic day and I'll talk to you later. Bye bye.